published the basic, I call it the standard. The unit of frequency is the hertz. That's all you got to know. Just memorize that. Okay? Hertz, hertz, hertz. Okay, now this is a chart that starts at zero hertz and goes up. Here's, here's 300 kilohertz, 3 megahertz, 30 megahertz, 300 megahertz, 3,000 megahertz, which is 3 gigahertz. So this is just frequency getting higher and higher and higher, okay? And there's a range down here from 0 to 20, which they call audio frequencies. And from about 20 kilohertz up, it's called radial frequencies. Now, why do I give you all these abbreviations? Because a lot of the questions won't say audio frequencies, radio frequencies. They're going to start using the acronyms now, AF and RF. Okay, RF is radio frequencies. And in the world of amateur radio, we're given certain pieces of this spectrum that we're allowed to use. And this is going to be very popular in some of the questions. They'll just use the term VHF and UHF. And you'll see what that means in a second. Okay? So, audio waves are in the range of about, oh, 300 to 20 kilohertz. And electromagnetic waves are typically greater. So electromagnetic waves are higher waves. Electromagnetic waves carry radio signals between transmitter and receiver. So electromagnetic wave leaves my transmitter, goes to your radio, and your radio receives it, and that's it. That doesn't make a difference if it's a radio, or if it's an AM station, or a TV station, or an FM station. The abbreviation for radio frequency signals is RF. The two components of radio waves are electric and magnetic fields. Just memorize some of these things. It's a little complicated. Electric field, magnetic field. Okay, now, in the popular frequencies that we use are in this range. The HF range, the VHF range, and the UHF range. But what do those letters mean? That's what they mean right there. High frequency, <coughs> very high frequency, ultra high frequency. And the problem is that the questions in the pool now are going to start referring to frequencies in here by their range. Okay? So they make the assumption that when they say VHF, you know it's between 30 and 300 megahertz. This is a memorizing time. Okay? They make the assumption that when they say UHF, you know it's between 300 and 3,000 or 3 gigahertz. Okay, so these are the very commonly used amateur radio ranges that are used in the question pool. Okay, and here's some of their questions. The HF range is 3 to, 300, 3 to 30. Yep, that's where HF is. The VHF range is 30 to 300. Yep. And the UHF range is 300 to 3,000. Yep. These are memorizing issues. Okay. Now let's get a little more complicated. Uh, it turns out that, let's say that I could push the transmit button and a radio wave would come out of here. Let's say that we could see it. I just hit the button for one second, and out comes the wave, okay? Now I can, you know, let's say the wave just, we can physically see the wave. Well, how long would one wave be from either here to here, or from here to here, or from here to here? One complete wave, so one complete cycle, one cycle. How long would one cycle be on that wave? Well, the answer is, here come the formulas now, okay? The wavelength in meters is 300 divided by the frequency in megahertz. Okay, so if I want to convert that, uh, if, I, if I want to know if I know how long the wave is in meters, I divide that into 300 and I get the frequency. And that's one of their questions right there. Okay, so here's here's how they set this up. So the radio waves travel at the speed of light, which is 300 million meters per second. That's how fast radio waves travel. The distance that a wave travels during one cycle, one cycle, is its wavelength. Okay? As the frequency increases, as that number gets bigger, the wavelength gets shorter. Yeah. So as I go higher and higher in frequency, that wave becomes shorter and shorter and shorter. Okay? Now, why do we need to know all that stuff eventually? Because when we get to one of the later sections, this is how we figure out how long these antennas are, how short they are. The length of the antenna has to relate to the wavelength of uh, the frequency we want to transmit. So let me just give you our chart. Here's, the, here's where EM radios operate mostly. 3 to 30 to 30 to 300. This is our HF, VHF, UHF. 
if I take these numbers and divide them into the 300, then 3 into 300 is 100 meters, 30 into 300 is 10 meters, 300 into 300 is 1 meter. Can you get that? Now, there's a problem coming up. It's going to be another memorizing issue. This is, this is the bad thing. Okay. It'll come up on the next sheet after this. Okay, let's see. There's, there's no questions here. This is just generic information. So in these different ranges, the FCC says, we're going to give you a, a set of frequencies that here you can operate on. Here's a set, here's a set, here's a set. These are called amateur bands, okay? So we have a range of frequencies, we call them bands. Uh, when you get your license, you're going to be able to operate on this band. I'll tell you what it is later. That band, that band, that band. You're going to be able to operate on every band up here, okay? Don't worry about it. Okay, but here's a band here. It goes from three and a half megahertz to four megahertz. Well, if you have a certain license, you can transmit only on a piece of the band. If you have a general license, you can transfer a whole thing. But you'll see later on there's bands and there's subbands. There's nothing here to memorize yet. Here comes the problem. The problem is that when you divide one of these frequencies into 300, right, you get the wavelength in meters. So us hands don't say, well, I had a contact today on the 30 megahertz. No, 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 no. Divide 30 to 300, what do you get? 10 meters. <clears throat> ah, I, I talked to someone today on the 10 meter band. This down here, that's the 80 meter band. That's the 40 meter band, the 20 meter band. So every one of these bands, we, we describe them as their wavelengths. We never talk about the frequency. When someone says, I want to buy one of these radios, what's this? <clears throat> they don't say this is 144 to 140 megahertz uh, radio. Oh, this is the two meter band. Divide 150 into 300, what do you get? Two. So we describe the bands, it's kind of slang, by their wavelengths, not by their frequencies. Okay? That's what this is all about. All about. And the questions in the pool will use this thing. This is all the background. So let's, let's get to the real stuff here. <clears throat> But there's nothing to memorize here. This is just a general picture, okay? Here's all the popular radio bands, uh, bands, from this frequency to this one, this one to this one, da 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 okay? These are the HF, these are the VHFs, these are UHFs. Now watch this. All of these bands here, all classes have all privileges. So technician, general, extra, all the privileges. Oh, up in these bands, the, your technician license will give you a few privileges here, a few here, a few here, and some here. If you're a general, you get most of them here, all of them here, and if you're an extra, you get them all. <clears throat> this is where we're going to go now. There's nothing here to memorize. Just trying to tell you something. Go ahead. For our packet, the general says most, and then the bottom some. Your packet says where? For the general, it says everything is most except for the bottom, which says some. Really? It doesn't say what it says here? No. no. Oh, then something got moved. So what you can do is simply move that over. Something got moved on the chart. Sorry, I apologize. <coughs> well, since you said that, you know what? I'm going to look and see if mine has that. Because if mine has that, then it's so we're in section five. We're on page nine. Well, mine's okay here. Okay, so I don't have enough money to put something changed with your with your uh, file. Okay, thank you for correcting that, for everybody. Okay, now now I get specific. <clears throat> I got a little picture here. These are the bands that you will be licensed to operate on mostly. Some other ones, but this is you, this is mostly what you're going to have. Okay? So here's their questions. <clears throat> Their questions will say something like, if you're an ITU, da da da, region two, right, that's the Americas, uh, and you're on 52.52 megahertz, what band are you in? The answer is six meter band. Okay. If you're an ITU region two and you're on 146.52, what band are you in? Two meter band. Uh, if you're on this frequency, what band are you in? Oh, 1.25 1. meter band. If you're on this frequency, what band are you in? Oh, 70 meter band. You're on this frequency, what band are you in? Uh, 23 centimeter band. 446 megahertz is the national calling frequency for FM simplex on the 70 band. What, okay. Yes? Um, are they going to ask us that exact same number or are they just going no, to? No, this, this is coming right out of the pool. 
you, you got who has a pool thing here? Almost everybody has. Okay, one. who's got? Sure. The, the extra hey. packet that I gave you today. Hey, okay, Kate, no, you, 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 go ahead. Go to T one B O three. T one B zero three. They're all in the miracle order. T one B. T one C. T one B. You got it. Did you guys all get one? Okay. Let's read it. Have two more. Let's read it. Ready? Let me read it. Yep. Okay. So here's what the here's what T one B zero three says. Which frequency is within the six meter band? Okay. So it was reversed from what I said. So they said they've got a list of frequencies: forty nine megahertz, fifty two point five two five, twenty eight point five two 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 point one five. They said which of these is in the six meter band? So. There's a whole list to choose from, and that turns out to be the right one. So that's what that's what these are saying. That's how these questions are put together. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you two answers. I'm going to give you three answers. Okay. You notice that these all came from section T1B, right? How many questions on the pool can come from T1B? One. Remember that? That's key. So if you say, you know what? This is too much to remember. That's one answer. Another answer is, uh, I'm just going to remember the question and the answer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on the question and the answer, period. Or, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to memorize that formula. Like, for instance, six meters. Okay. 6 divided into 300 is roughly what? 50. Look at the answers. How many of the answers are something near 50 in that pool? Who has the thing open? Who has it open? Okay. We just read the possible answers. 49, 52.525, 28.5, so, so the choice there would be between the 49 and the 52. And you say, you know what? I'll remember, the, I'll remember the 52. So remember the formula. If, I was trying to, if someone told me what band it was, and I was trying to figure out what the frequency was, I'd just divide that into 300. Well, it's fine as long as it's in meters, but this isn't in, see, these aren't in meters anymore. They're in centimeters. So do you want to memorize those, or do you want to say, I'll take my luck because only one of these can appear on the test? So that's kind of a choice. Okay? And there's more stuff like this that's going to get memorized. That, that's the problem. That's the problem. Okay, let's just talk about this one for a second. It says 446 megahertz is the national calling frequency on FM simplex on this on this band right here. So, now what's simplex? Well, if I turn on a radio and I talk to you and you talk to me back and forth, we're using the same frequency. I talk on a frequency and then when I stop, you talk to me on that frequency. Same frequency. When we use the same frequency, that's called simplex. We use the repeater for transmitting on one frequency. We're listening on the other frequency. That's called duplex. Simplex, duplex. So apparently, they've set up a place on this band, one frequency, where if I just want to call, hey, is anybody listening? Is anybody listening? I got an emergency or something. Apparently, this has been set up as a frequency that people just use to call and see if anybody's listening, maybe for emergencies. I don't know what that's about, so memorize that answer. It's 850. Oh, is it? Oh, we'll stop. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, so before you guys come back next Tuesday, what I want you to do is go from the beginning of PowerPoints to where we are now, and go on the, um, the answers, the questions and answers, and write them in there, highlight them. Is there anybody that did not get the answer to the questions with the answers?